Hello, this is Wendy Lightheart, and today we're going to be working with formulas. Formulas are equations which have more than one variable, and we see them in geometry, physics, chemistry, finance, and the list goes on and on. In particular, we're going to learn how to solve a formula for one of its variables. Solving a formula for a variable means rewriting the formula so that the variable is isolated on one side of the equation. To illustrate, let's look at the formula d equals rt, which is the formula for motion that says the distance traveled is equal to the rate of speed multiplied by the time traveled. We want to solve this formula for t. In other words, we need to isolate the t on one side of the equation. Since t is being multiplied by r, we can undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by r. Simplifying both sides, we obtain our solution, which says that t is equal to d divided by r. Note that this process is really the same as solving any linear equation. The only difference is there is more than one variable, and so we won't be able to simplify our solution to a single number, like we usually can when we're solving a linear equation with one variable. Let's look at another one. The instructions for this example say to solve for b. So b is going to be our variable of interest for this problem, and we need to work on isolating b on one side of the equation. It might help to think of the steps we used for solving a linear equation in one variable. Since both sides are simplified, we would first move the variable terms to one side. The variable term in this case is the b term, since b is the variable we are solving for. So we need to move the ax term to the other side, which we can do by subtracting it from both sides. Notice that I didn't line up the ax under the c, since they're not like terms. Simplifying gives us by equals c minus ax. The b term is now isolated on one side, so all we have left to do is to isolate the b, which we can do by dividing both sides by y to undo that multiplication. Simplifying gives us the b all by itself on one side, which is what we wanted. The right side can't be simplified, so our solution is that b is equal to c minus x all over y. In this next example, we are asked to solve for d. Notice that there's a fraction in this formula. Thus, we can multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which is 11, to eliminate the fraction. Simplifying gives us a much nicer equation of 11p equals 165 plus 5d. Both sides are simplified, so we're ready to isolate the d term to one side. We can do this by subtracting 165 from both sides to undo the addition. This leaves us with 11p minus 165 equals 5d. Our last step, then, is to divide both sides by 5.
Notice that 165 has a factor of 5. Because of this fact, I should split this fraction up into two terms, or in other words, divide each term separately by 5 so that my answer will be more simplified. 165 divided by 5 is 33. So our solution is D is equal to 11P over 5 minus 33. That's our last example for this lesson. While you're working on these type of problems, just remember to follow the same steps we use to solve linear equations to isolate the variable of interest.